Hi friends, today I wanted to talk over some of the shoe essentials that you're gonna need for warmer weather, especially ones that you might find your closet missing. If you think about it, sometimes when we are going through our day-to-day -day life, there's something that you could feel like you could have this perfect shoe that meets all your needs and looks good with every outfit, and that can be quite a mystery. So I wanted to solve that for you today and just show you six shoes, I think, one, two, three, Yes, six shoes that um, really will help you through every time that you are trying to create these outfits. They're a range from casual to formal, and then also I've got some with heels and some with flats. Also, this video is sponsored by Nisolo. Nisolo is my longest running friend of a company. Um, the Dearly Bethany and Nisolo community is quite interwoven and very strong and you guys love them. I've loved them for years and I actually just called them about a question I had today and they're like, oh yeah, Bethany, we know you. <laughs> I'll get into why I am so passionate about Nisolo in a little bit, but I know you guys are here for the shoes, so let's get started. I'm gonna start with heels and then work down to flats and I'll have everything linked down in the description, by the way. So this is is the all day open toe heeled clog. What's great about this is it's like my most comfortable shoe and it might be very surprising because it is something that has a heel. A lot of times when people think heels, they think, oh no, I can't do that. I have to wear comfortable shoes. I have to wear them all day and all that. Well, this is a really good option because it has memory foam here. And so once I put them on, I realized that they really are my most comfortable. And the wood that they use here on the bottom is lightweight, so it's not like I have to lift them up off the ground with every step. On the bottom, they have some rubber, so that's gonna really keep it from making it sound clip cloppy. I know whenever I've worn clogs in the past, I really, like you can hear me coming. <laughs> and so this doesn't really feel like that. Also, the way that they have designed everything is very, I don't wanna say Scandinavian, but it has that sort of feel to it that's very like minimal and, um, and very beautiful, I would say, and modern for this style of a shoe. So what I love about this for a warm weather essential is that I can wear this with a dress or I could wear this with jeans, I could wear it dressed up, dressed down. Um, anywhere, any event would be absolutely wonderful. And also because I do like to have a heel for most of my jeans, then this really will help me to lengthen my look. This next shoe is something you would have seen me wear before. I love the all day heeled mule from Nisolo. I think that having something that's transitional for this time where you have chilly in the morning, warm in the afternoon, and then it gets cold again by the nighttime um, is going to be so great. I like that it has this closed toe and then all of this is exposed. You can wear it with socks if you want to, but having a mule, especially a covered one, has really been an essential for my wardrobe. Also, I like it when it has a heel and this one has more of a high heel than what most of my mules have and it has grip on the bottom. So all check boxes have been checked for this type of shoe. It is excellent and I also just think that when I wear it with dresses, then it's great for when I haven't gotten my dark tan from summer yet. And even then, I think that that would look really beautiful. After you have your clog and your mule, then it's really good to be able to have an Oxford. An Oxford is wonderful for when you are moving into warmer weather because during that time period, you still might want to have something that looks a little bit uh, more sophisticated. It's not quite formal like a heel, but it is something that will class up your look. And the way that Nisolo has made their Emma Dorse Oxford has this beautiful design here. The Dorse shoe is normally cut out out like this and so this is a very unique take on an Oxford. You will have seen me wear this in different colors but the color that I am embracing this season for my wardrobe, for my shoes, is this beautiful ivory bone color and so just like the shoe before it, this is a wonderful take on this as well. So just by seeing not the color change of the shoe but how you can transition the, the actual shoe itself, it shows you what a different mood that this shoe can bring. 
So this is actually named after Emma Watson because she is total class and it definitely makes me feel very classy when I wear the Emma Dorsey Oxfords. For those days where you want to wear a total shoe but you want to be able to breathe in your shoe, then you might want to try one like this. This is called the Warache Sandal. I think I'm saying it right. I actually called Nisolo today and I was like, hey guys, um, how do you say this? <laughs> and so basically you say it like Warache is how I understand it, but some people say it more like with a strong H, which is how it's spelled. I loved finding out more about it because it was like pre-Columbian Mexico is when this shoe and where this shoe originated. And so you think about what the weather would have been like where you want it to be something that is very breathable um, and yet also something that is a proper shoe. And I love the texture on it. Like for those days where I wanna wear a very like tonal outfit, something that's all white, then having that extra texture is gonna be great. As for size, I would recommend going down one half size for this, um, especially if you have narrow feet like me. And that will just allow it to expand with time because it naturally will, especially for those hot days. Next, you wanna have a sandal, like a proper one that has some sort of back strap. So this is the all day cross strap sandal. And it is very sophisticated for something like this because it has this extra stitching along here. Having those two wide cross straps are gonna really make it to where your, your foot is secure inside of the shoe, even though this is a very like open in design. So I would say that it's really well designed and then it's got the teeniest, tiniest little half inch heel, um, just something that keeps it from being um, like actually flat on the ground. And so yeah, I would say that this would be something I could even wear to a wedding if I wanted to, or I could wear it to more of a casual office. If I needed to walk a lot, then this would be a really great option. For this one, being that I do have a narrow foot, then I did go half a size down on this, but you don't necessarily have have to if you have a wider foot. Finally, it's really good to be able to have some sort of slide, something that you can wear at a poolside. Um, this would be the perfect shoe actually to wear poolside because it would look so sophisticated with a bathing suit. Um, but then also I could very easily wear this to an event outdoors if I wanted to wear a dress with it. So all of these shoes really can be flexible between casual and formal. And then this would be the most minimal out of all of them. In fact, I think that the design of this, being that it doesn't have a back strap, you might be wondering if it's okay to keep on through the day. And I do think that it is very secure because of how wide this top band is. If that wasn't so wide, then it would be something that would be more dif difficult to keep on. Um, but yeah, this has been wonderful so far. I've enjoyed being able to wear these different shoes that are new in my collection um, and also really excited to be able to wear them throughout the season. What sets Nisolo apart for me is just that when you think about a lot of the other fashion companies out there, um, they build their whole companies where their manufacturing is completely separate and unseen from the designer's table. And so what's unique about Nisolo is that they found these artisans who already were crafting these shoes for generations and they enabled them to create what they were already doing. What's beautiful about that is that they still have continued to pay them 100% living wages. And so they've been able to really foster what has already existed and then built the company around that worker. And so that's just such a beautiful and inspirational thing to me when for pretty much my whole life, I have been in art and really found such beauty and joy in just making things with my hands and then also seeing other people create things as well. You know, creating something out of nothing is such a beautiful thing. And I definitely hope that society wise that we continue to move in that direction because I think that everything that is unique and beautiful and handcrafted is always going to carry its meaning for so much longer. So I've talked a lot about the different types of shoes that are essential for your wardrobes today and hopefully that was helpful, but ultimately Ultimately, all of these have been handcrafted with so much like love and care and that's at the end of the day what I want to highlight in a brand. 
So thank you, Nisolo, for working with me again today um, for like the zillionth time we've worked together. It's just so much fun to have that partnership and that friendship. So uh, with that said, if you like this video, be sure to give it a thumbs up and don't forget to turn on notifications because I am working toward creating somewhat of a uh, routine as far as posting. I wanna post Monday, Wednesday, Friday, if that's like a time when you watch videos. And you can leave a comment down below of when you watch YouTube videos because that would really help me know when when you in particular um, like to watch them. So yeah, um, with that said, uh, I will see you in the next video. Bye.